initially i wasn't going to do this video because this is a controversial topic and i don't want to really go into any kind of controversy but in the, the more i thought about it this more felt like the act of a bully and you know that's not something i wanted to let go so you know here we are by now the whole world is talking about the will smith chris crock uh, controversy that happened at the oscars if you're not aware uh, will smith uh, slapped chris rock over a joke uh that uh, chris rock made about his wife jada pinkett smith uh, now personally as i was watching it yesterday when i saw it online uh, my first reaction was shock uh and i'm pretty sure everyone thought the same way because uh, here here's the main thing you know and i'll i'll cover the other parts over here but here's the main aspect of it if you go back to the previous oscars you know every host or every person that comes on stage you know everyone takes a Uh, you know a shot at uh, some of the famous celebrities and actors out there and that's what i want to focus on you know many people are saying oh will smith uh, was defending his wife you know chris rock didn't actually try to you know physically provoke a reaction in any way he didn't attack anyone or anything you know he was actually you know and these were like very light jokes that i felt you know he was actually talking about uh, denzel washington you know javier bardem and his wife Pen- penelope cruz and then you know he went to went on to uh, will smith and jada pinkett smith and to the best of my knowledge you know these guys are friends also and uh, let's be honest the, they have been celebrities for over 20 years you know and as public figures you are open to criticisms and jokes i mean take any celebrity everyone at some point has made some kind of fun about them so should they are all wives or husbands react in the same manner i, I don't know it, it just didn't come across as right to me um, especially you know chris rock just going up on stage and doing his do- job as a host it didn't sit right with me and it felt like will smith was you know sort of uh, you know reacting out of because here's the thing when they initially when chris rock made the joke uh, they showed that will smith was laughing right and next to him his wife she looked a little uncomfortable uh, and then after that after a while only then will smith got up he walked up on stage and Chris Rock actually thought oh he's he's going to make a show out of out of it and he was like laughing oh ho here he comes you know that you know that was his initial reaction because like i said they're friends and he was he was not at all expecting it and will smith just you know it was a long walk he got up from his seat he walked up the stairs he walked across the stage and then he just hit him you know Uh, so i mean think of all the comedians i mean uh, russell peters make jokes about various ethnic groups should all these ethnic groups now attack him or you know sometimes he points to the audience uh, you know he picks someone from the audience and directly directly you know makes jokes about them the name the way they look should all of them react uh, i don't know it just felt like some kind of and after the slap or he came back and he sat down and no one said anything he was you know he continued to stay at the oscars till the very end and he won the actor best actor award uh uh but you know he wasn't escorted out i i don't think any other person like you know he's a big superstar obviously you know but it was a normal person they would have been escorted out of the uh, arena i don't think they would have been allowed to be there but he was there now on the other hand uh, many people are saying that you know his wife has uh, alopecia which is a medical condition that results in the ha- hair loss from various parts of her body so uh, but i i still don't think you know chris rock was uh, making that kind of a joke against her medical condition because uh, you know let's be honest how many people knew that jada pinkett smith was having this kind of a medical condition i didn't know until yesterday so chris rock should have uh, researched and then made sure that this was in a medical condition before making a joke realistically i i don't i don't think that's how you know uh, jokes work you know for comedians especially when it comes to the oscars you know generally there are writers over there there is a director there is a rehearsal so maybe uh, you know this is a junior writer who wrote this joke and chris rock maybe looked at it and he must have said he probably wasn't aware and uh, again i don't think this is a medical condition because the joke is about gi jane 2 so if you're not aware gi jane 1 uh, was a movie starring demi moore directed by ridley scott in that movie demi moore is a soldier so for that reason she shaves her head so she's a soldier she's a tough soldier and she actually trains and uh, fights alongside men over there you know that's the character so it's a very tough character and uh, you know his uh, comment again was that i'm looking forward to gi jane 2 when he looked at uh, jada speak it smith 
Now, as a woman, she must must have felt conscious, you know, about the way she looks. So I get that to a point, and uh, you know, she. But you know, Will Smith reacting the way he did. I mean, if even if he had stepped across on the stage, he walked up to Chris Rock, and if he had yelled at him or something, you know, it it would have been fine. You know, we get that. But him, you know, walking across the stage and slapping someone that too in public, and millions of people are watching around the world. So you know what kind of message you're putting out there? Because after Will Smith won the Oscar, he was talking about you know love, uh, you know, and you know he was a man act defending his uh, family. It's a little difficult to digest all of that because I just when I look when I kept looking back to it, you know. I just don't see how Chris Rock was, you know, attacking anyone over there. He was actually talking about everyone over there. There were many celebrities he was talking. He didn't target Will Smith and his wife over there. He talked about everyone who was coming along the way. There was his, the joke about Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz is that both the actors were nominated. So his joke was that if Penelope Cruz doesn't win and Javier Bardem wins, that will be a big issue at home. they could have made a big issue out of it oh you're making a comment about our marriage this is personal you don't know how we feel tomorrow they cannot say that also right uh, i i don't get it i i mean many some people are like he defended his wife you know he got what he deserved i'm sorry no every one of us including me i know we have all had a bad moment in our life where we said something or did something that we regretted uh, what if you know we were punished for that at that very moment publicly humiliated just think about it uh, that's what i keep going back to another thing i'm uh, you know i'm uh, thinking about is that chris rock is not exactly a big uh, you know muscular guy or anything so in his place imagine the rock was saying this uh, uh, joke as a host or uh, you know john cena or uh, jason momoa you know someone henry cavill someone bigger and stronger would will smith have walked up and hit him what if it was tom cruise just think about this you know all the big, a bigger superstar or a bigger person uh, physically would will smith have walked up and just hit him you know these are the things that come into my mind and again you know it feels like you know it was a superstar image that kind of made it okay for him to do that and sit back and you know watch and get his award at the end uh, there was also another you know question floating around should uh, the academy take back his oscar and all of that I I don't think so you know he was nominated and he won the award for best actor not for the best personality or <laughs> temperament or anything like that so those two were very different things acting is acting you know he won for his acting and his talent that's a different matter altogether but this I just felt like he acted like a bully and uh, you know to a certain extent I feel like it's pent up anger you know in the past you know there have been various uh, you know conversations about his marriage in public they in fact will and jade have talked about it on uh, one of the talk shows and then various people on in the internet were criticizing will and commenting about it you know how certain things happened uh, i don't want to talk about it because it's a different matter altogether i just mentioned it because you know when all of this happened it was supposedly okay like there was no reaction uh, suddenly this one moment and you know it's a big deal i'm defending my wife Just, i don't know i don't know I, i just felt like again when i think back also you know initially when he made the joke will smith was sitting and laughing that was his reaction if you check the, i'm not playing the youtube video here you know might get a copy a copyright strike so but will smith was laughing that was so it was okay for him i guess or he didn't think it was a big deal or maybe he was la- laughing as a defense mechanism oh it was uncomfortable but i'll just laugh it across but then he turned around he looked at uh, jada maybe he reacted from it uh but i i just don't think you know hitting someone uh, justifies it uh, it seems like a very cowardly uh, move especially someone who's in a position like will smith you know he's an icon in many sense of the word and i was a will smith spa- fan and i say i was because as of yesterday i kind of lost respect for it what he did is uh, inexcusable you know it felt like he was punching down and uh, you know chris rock was punching up you know that's what comedians do you know or just about everyone they look at more influential more powerful people and it wasn't that he attacked will smith's wife jada pinkett smith is a celebrity of her own you know she uh, again over 20 plus years she's been a celebrity she's a uh, public figure you know everywhere across the world people 
criticize, maybe even make fun of public figures. That's that's common knowledge. It's kind of the price of fame. Uh, I guess at some point everyone has done it in some way. I mean, think about it. Think of the things that you might have said privately versus publicly. And then again, Chris Rock again is a comedian. That's, you know, along with being an actor, producer and all of that. And he's come there to host. And as a tradition, like I said, if you go back to the Oscars, everyone, every host has made some kind of joke about the, uh, you know, celebrity over there. Uh, There was a time when Seth MacFarlane, uh, he's the creator of the animated show Family Guy. Uh, He made a whole song about, uh, uh, you know, we saw your boobs. So in that whole song, it was an opening ceremony for the Oscars where, you know, he picks out a few actresses, right, who, you know, done nude scenes. So the song was about, we saw your, we saw your boobs. Just imagine. Okay, that was, uh, that was actually an opening uh, song or act in one of the previous Oscars. Uh, that, <laughs> so should all these actresses suddenly, uh, you know, act out and hit him? Uh, same thing over the Ellen DeGeneres, uh, you know, she hosted a couple of Oscars. She had her own jokes. Uh, one of them I remember was she asked uh, Amy Adams. Uh, she was she played Lois Lane on uh, in so uh, Man of Steel, right? Uh, Amy Adams. She asked a question. You know, have you been to college? And at that moment, you know, when the camera was focused on her. It's a live show, right? Amy Adams' initial reaction was you know embarrassment. She just uh, you know grinned and she you know shook her head. That you know, it seemed embarrassing. Suddenly, you know, just asking a person about uh, you know her education. I don't know, you know. Another thing I keep... T- uh, what if Will Smith had not walked up on stage and slapped uh, Chris Rock? Today, would people be talking about, uh, you know, uh, Jada's medical condition and this was, uh, you know, Will Smith defending his wife? I mean, uh, you know, would, would they have been talking about it? Would they have, uh, you know, criticizing Chris Rock for saying, oh, that was a poor joke? Because I can honestly think of worse jokes that has happened uh, during award shows. Watch any... Award show hosted by Ricky Gervais. He's a British comedian. My God, the things he says. They're funny, but, you know, he it makes, uh, you know, uh, Chris Rock's joke about G.I. Jane 2. It makes, G- G- Ricky Gervais's jokes make Chris Rock's uh, G.I. Jane joke look like a knock-knock joke. You know, that's the level Ricky Gervais takes it to. So, you know, people should attack him. I mean, the things Ricky Gervais said about Mel Gibson, for example. And Mel Gibson was on stage. Mel Gibson didn't, could have acted violently. No, he put his arm around Ricky Gervais and he, he made a joke about him. You know, you know that was a, they did it, handled it right. You know, it was done in a pro- good spirit. Uh, yeah, these, these were my thoughts. You know, I, I just uh, genuinely felt like uh, today Will Smith has apo- issued an apology. Uh, let me let me just read it out in case you know if it's there. Uh, one second, Will Smith. Yeah. Violence in all its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are part of the job, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear and I reacted emotionally. I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. And I am embarrassed and my actions were not indicated of the man I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. I would also like to apologize to the Academy, the producers of the show, all the attendees and everyone watching around the world. I would like to apologize to the Williams family and my King Richard family. I deeply regret that my behavior has strained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey for all of us. I am a work in progress. Sincerely, Will. well, at least he issued an apology. Uh, you know, I don't know. It, it, it's a day too late, and it seemed obviously you know they made it with the help of their pub- publicist or, or agent or someone like that. Uh, this right of the uh, you know, at the end of the Oscars when Will Smith got the award when he came up on stage, he could have apologized to Chris also. You know, uh, I, if you ask me, did Chris do something wrong? I keep saying that you know if. Chris Rock got up on stage and publicly, you know, uh, targeted Will Smith's family or something. You know, I still feel, yeah, that won't justify it. This is a joke made against, you know, everyone keeps saying Will Smith, my, uh, my, he says, you know, jokes about my expense is fine, it's part of the job. It's also the case with Jada Pinkett Smith. She's also an actress, you know, she's not, 
she's not just will smith's wife you know she has her own identity as well uh, i don't know people are keep kind of you know jumping over that or forgetting that it wasn't about being will smith's wife that's not the reason for this uh, you know this is about her being a, a public figure on her own being her own celebrity and chris rock making that comment uh again uh, if you ask me did will chris rock do the right thing i just think he did his job just like every other host who has uh, you know talked about celebrities during previous oscar functions you know if chris rock is wrong then every other host is wrong in the past everyone who's done jokes about uh, his celebrities everyone is wrong that's what i feel it, it you you cannot single out chris rock for this incident because there has certainly been worse jokes than this you know more personal jokes than this and even then people have laughed it off like it's nothing this wasn't about medical condition you know did he specifically talk about her medical condition or criticize it like if he was to say oh you have this condition makes you look like this no he just said that G, you know gi gint i'm looking forward to gi gint 2 you know that was it uh, i don't i don't know what to say man it's about a movie that could have come out at some point uh, i i don't see how he targeted her specifically or said something in poor taste you know may, may now if you're telling me that he was aware of a medical condition and still went on to say it okay maybe but i don't think he was aware at least that's the impression i got i don't think a lot of people were aware you know jada pinkett smith in spite of being a public figure it's not that everyone is aware of everything today sure many people could be aware of it because of this whole controversy yeah uh, so those are my thoughts about it uh, you know uh, if you like this video of course hit the thumbs up icon and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye